Namaste. Good morning. I want to welcome you to this moment. I want to welcome you to the here and now. Today I want to talk to you about searching until there's nothing left to search for. So many are on a spiritual journey to enlightenment, to awakening, or they're looking for God through various religious methods. All of this is the search for what they truly are. Today, maybe you're searching for something. Maybe you're searching for an experience, an experience of peace. I know what it is to experience the ups and downs of everyday life, the pleasure and misery of attachments. One minute, that attachment, the thing you're clinging to, feels so good, and the next minute, it's bringing misery. I know what it is to search for something and be confused, to feel depression, anxiety, fear. But I also know what it is to experience in this body and mind peace, and ecstasy, bliss. And I'm not talking about peace that is just there when things are going well. I'm talking about peace that transcends understanding. I'm talking about peace in the midst of shit. Peace in the midst of a bunch of mess negative circumstances or what most people would think of as negative circumstances maybe you're just wanting to find God to experience God to experience a high a true high a natural high on life I know what it is to search for that see I searched virtually my entire life to discover that I had all and my searched my entire life and then in one moment discovered that the thing I'd been searching for was here all along. And so I want you to simply realize the thing that you've been searching for is here. You've always had it. The divine nature, God and you are one. There is no God that is outside of you. If there is a God that is outside of you, but he fills all things with himself, then he also must be within you. It is your very nature. So it doesn't matter whether you have been pursuing God through religious means, or whether you've been pursuing God in another way, or whether you just said, you know what, I don't want to pursue God at all. I have no interest in pursuing God. I'm just going to do nothing. Even doing nothing is the pursuit of something. But in this moment, as we let go of all the thoughts that we have and all the feelings and the fears and the worry, this moment is perfect. And when you really learn how to begin to touch the moment, then you can sink more deeply into the moment and you begin to experience there are very many layers of depth to the moment that you've been perceptionally experiencing and it is in this place that sometimes you need a guide or somebody to continually point you beyond what you're believing about yourself beyond what you're believing in general but that guide cannot help you unless you give yourself to the search until at least until you realize that, that there was never a self that was searching it was just a belief but give yourself to it so the question is if you're still experiencing ups and downs if you're not experiencing continual peace and grace and love then give yourself to the search because there's still a you that's identifying as something still a you that's identifying and believing in something 
and this is the you that the search is ultimately bringing to an end. But I want you to know this. You can search your whole life and not find what you're looking for. Because it can never be found tomorrow. You will never one day awaken. You will never one day find an enlightenment. You will never one day discover God. It is always right here and right now in this moment. Awakening is now. Enlightenment is now. So be here with me now. Be here with me in this place of love. Be here with me in this place of grace. A place where you can effortlessly throw off all the work and burdens and efforts and just be. Because what you've really always been searching for is the divine you, that, the awareness that just is. So that you can manifest and animate the body and mind and play and just be in body and mind, enjoying the playground, enjoying the world. Without fear, without stress, and without attachments that bring misery. I love you. Drop whatever questions and comments you have below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe right now. Turn on your notifications so you get notified of future videos. I love you so much. Have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.